In this video, we're going to look at how to put together the pages for a print book using InDesign Creative Cloud 2017. Of course, you stop and rewind wherever you need to. Click on New for New Document, and then up comes this dialog box. Keep the intent at print. Stick in a hundred pages. We won't need that many, but for this exercise, let's just put in plenty. Facing pages, so they will be left and right pages. And also check the box primary text frame. That helps with something called auto flow. The page size, let's go for A5, just an easy standard size. Keep the portrait orientation as it is. You only need a single column of text, so the gutter is irrelevant. And then go down to margins and the top margin, if you could set that to 16, check the link icon and put the bottom to 18 millimeters and the inside to 18 millimeters. Keep the outside at 16, no need for bleed or slug and just hit click OK. And up comes the shell for the book. There are a hundred pages there and you can check by clicking and dragging on the bottom of the pages palette and then of course scrolling if you wanted to. But let's go and get the file with the text in it. Go file and place and locate where the text is. I've got uh, the Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka there. You'll see the cursor has all this little text around it. But before you click in the top left corner, hold down shift, then click and then auto flow is activated and the whole text will go in. Next click on the type tool in the toolbox, click in that first paragraph, just anywhere in the middle of that first paragraph. We're going to play with the paragraph styles. If that paragraph styles palette isn't showing, go to type Click on Paragraph Styles and you'll see it showing. So we're going to edit the normal style. So to begin with, what we're going to need to do is click in, in that uh, first paragraph again. Select All by uh, Edit and you've got the entire text selected. Now we're right clicking on the normal style. So we get Edit Normal then left click on that. So we get the general uh, dialog box. We're going to keep that at normal. And this is where we're going to do some work in the basic character formats. I'm going to change that to Georgia. Keep the font style at regular, but let's do say 11.5. 11.5 points for the font size. And you can just type that in. You can do smaller fractions if you want, but let's just do that for the moment. And let's put the letting, the spacing between lines at 15 points. Another thing we'll need to check is the indents and spacing. Could you use left justify? So both the left and right margins are straight. And the first line indent, if you could set that to five millimeters, then press or click OK. And let's see how that looks when it's applied. To apply it, you've actually got to click on the normal style. So left click on there and watch the paragraphs. OK. Now we're going to click in there. Just check up the top left. Yeah, it's Georgia 11.5 the size of the font with 15 points of letting between. So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, save it because we've done a fair bit of work at the moment uh, setting up the file. We've got the text in and we're well on the way to actually uh, making the pages for the print book. So save it to wherever you want it. Now we need to work uh, a little bit more with styles. So what we're going to do now is look at how we might adjust the uh, first paragraph style. Click in the top right of the paragraph box and you'll get new paragraph style. Could you call this normal opener? This is for the first paragraph in a chapter which has no indentation. Keep it based on normal. Don't change this. I'm just showing you can, but keep it based on normal so we don't have to reinvent the wheel. And we're going to have all the basic character formats the same. All we're going to do is change the indents and spacing. So first line indent is zero. Now we're going to click on normal opener. So I'll just uh, move that out of the way and watch that first paragraph. Watch the indentation that disappears. You don't want an indent for the first paragraph in a chapter. Now what I'm going to do is go through. There are three chapters or parts to this novella. And all I have to do is click in the first paragraph then click normal opener. That's chapter two's opening paragraph taken care of. And then likewise of chapter three. So that's all done. Very simple thing, but it's a professional touch. OK, now let's have a look at these headings. We're going to change this to a heading style, which is different to the body text. Click in the top right on those four little lines. Another new paragraph style. If you could type in heading one in the very general dialog box, then on basic character formats, when you 
check that. Uh, you could put anything you want there, but let's put Calibri, Calibri, and let's change it to bold font. And what about we set it to 16 points? Keep the leading at 15 points, that's okay. Indents and spacing though, let's click on that so we can change the alignment to center and let's get rid of the first line indentation here so it's zero, then we can click OK. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we've got to click on Heading 1 to apply it, of course. I'm getting rid of that uh, panel that keeps coming up. Heading 1, let's click on that. Oh, right, there we go. Now, if you check, click on it, you say, oh, actually, it's 18 points. Well, just click on Heading 1 again. You get rid of that plus sign, and we're going to do that to the author name, Franz Kafka. Clicking on Buy, then click on Heading 1 to get rid of the plus again. Notice, though, when I click on the Metamorphosis, that... I try clicking on a heading one with a plus and it just stays there. I'm actually going to have to highlight that and manually change it down to 16. If indeed I want it to go to 16. So I'm just putting it forward and then up to 16. And then, yeah, the plus, we've got rid of that. So there's a lot of work we've done there, which can be easily applied with one click. Let's go to the start of chapter two. Click on that paragraph, heading one, bang, all formatted. And let's go to chapter two three click up on that uh, number when we find it click in the paragraph anywhere that you don't actually have to highlight just clicking it and click heading one so that's all done our paragraph styles are done so let's save it another fair bit of work we don't want to go missing all right now the next thing we're going to do is looking at um, how many pages are in the document now, at the moment, it's saying I've got 56. But see this red box down in the bottom corner with a red cross? That's saying there's overset text. There's text that's not showing. So what you do is click on the black arrow, go back down to the red box at the bottom, and then click that. And you might have to click it twice. The cursor should show all that little text around it like it did at the start. Then hold down Shift on the keyboard, and then click inside the margin in the purple area and lo and behold all the text goes through let's just check it's all there goes down to page 60 okay and there's no red box at the bottom so all is okay all right now if you click on page 61 then hold down shift before you click on page 100 that will allow you to delete the pages click in the top right and you'll see the delete pages option gives you the warning just click okay now you see that bottom left box by itself the bottom left page that balances the top right hand page because you have to have an even number of pages in the book so that's now set up that will all work in terms of number of pages the next thing we're going to look at doing is master pages so at the top here click on the left the left a master and i'm just going to move that over into the middle and we're going to put a text box down the bottom just click on the type tool click and drag down the bottom and in this text box we're going to put automatic page numbering now to do this go type insert special character mark as current page number and when you release you'll see the a comes up now don't worry this will turn into a number i'm just going to format that into um, calibri and uh, slightly smaller you can choose what you want now you'll think this is a, a letter at the moment but if uh, it will turn into a number click on the black arrow now hold down shift and alt click and drag Shift and Alt allows you just to drag the text box over to the right, keep it at the same level, release, and then that just saves you setting it up from scratch. Now let's have a look at the page numbers. So we're going to move from the masters to the actual pages. See so one is at the bottom and then two and three. Okay, so the A turns into those numbers. Great. And that applies all the way throughout the document. You don't want to have to individually number the pages. So a big time saving thing. All right, now let's put on some headers. Uh, click on the type tool again. Go back to the master pages. Click on the type tool. Click and drag a text box. Type in a header, you know, the title of the book. And then just in the, the typeface you want and the size and the alignment. Whatever you like there. So just searching through. I'll do it in Calibri again. And not all books have headers, uh, but this is so if you do want one, you know how to do it. And of course, you could put something down the bottom next to the automatic page numbering if you want. Okay, now I'm going to 
click on the black arrow, then hold and shift and alt again. So I can just click and drag this text box across. I don't have to retype it again. Click back on the type tool so I can now go inside that box. And instead of repeating the title of the book, I'll put the author name and um, obviously put the name in there. It could be your name if you want. And then let's have a look at how that looks on the pages. Let's just click on page two. Okay, so there's title, book, and author name. So you should have a good idea of how master pages works now. What you put in the master page will appear on all the pages. And you can actually have more than one master page. We'll look at that in a moment. If you'd like to see the pages without the guides in them, go to the bottom of the toolbox, click and hold on the bottom square, and then select Preview. See all the guides have disappeared. To show them all again, go to the same square and click back on Normal, and then they all are. These are not going to print at the end. They just help you lay out the text. All right, let's insert some preliminary pages at the start uh, before the main body of text. Go to the top right of the Pages palette, click and select Insert Pages. If you could insert six pages, so six before page one, then click OK, you'll see now that we have six preliminary pages at the beginning we can put the title page the imprint page table of contents in there the prelim pages are typically numbered with Roman numerals so to insert them let's go up to the a menu that says layout and then select numbering and section section options choose Roman numerals at the bottom of the style then click OK and you might say well you don't want Roman numerals all the way through well that's true but what we're going to do now we've got Roman numerals at the start Let's go to the new page seven and double click on that, then go back to layout and numbering and section options and select start page numbering at one and then one, two, three, four, the regular ones. Make sure the start section box is checked, then click OK. And you'll see that page one starts on the main body of text. So that's all sorted right throughout preliminary pages, Roman numerals, regular numbers for the rest. The next thing we want to do is get rid of the headers on the chapter opening page. So let's go up to the top right of the pages palette, click on that icon there and then select new master. This new master is going to be called a B master and it's going to be based on the A master. You've got to select that so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Then click OK and look at the top right of the pages palette. You'll see a B master appears. If you click on those text boxes, you'll see that you can't activate them. So you have to go to override all master page items via the top right icon. Then you can click on them, of course, using the black arrow. Then you can get rid of them. Very important function, override all master page items. Now, if we click and drag the right B master onto the right page one, you'll see that the header has now gone. And just to follow through with that, let's go to the opening of chapter two. Let's get rid of the header by clicking and dragging the left hand B master onto that particular page, the header's gone. And we'll do that for the final chapter three there. Click on the left-hand B master, click and drag down to the left-hand page. And there it is, the header has gone there as well. If we click on the none master at the very top and click and drag that onto the first three preliminary pages, we'll get rid of the headers and the page numbers in one go. You generally don't want page numbers on those preliminary pages. Then we're going to save that because now all we have to do is export it as a press quality PDF file, Adobe PDF presets and export the default. You can just accept the default and then we have the PDF made. We'll just check that it is made. Go into the PDF, double click and open and at first you can't see it because we've got blank pages at the beginning and they're very large. So we'll make them smaller. Now you can start to see the pages and we'll scroll down, start to see the headers and there it is, the first page of the text and so on and so forth. So now you've got a press quality PDF ready to upload to the printing company.